Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Captain America is one of the OG Avengers, and while he might be remembered for his morals and aversion to potty mouths, Steve Rogers is actually pretty high on the TV region's scale of sassiness. You think Paul's forgiven? I'm not looking for forgiveness, and I'm way past asking permission. And if you want to stand in our way, we'll fight you too. I always come with the receipts, so here are my top 10 Captain America flexes in the movies. Like, share, and subscribe to make YouTube great again. Is this little display meant to insinuate that you can throw me off the roof? Because it's really not just style, Rogers. You're right. It's not. It's hers. <laughs> Despite the claims being made on Twitter, chivalry is very much alive. And nothing's more respectable than a true gentleman giving his lady friend her due honours. That's exactly what happens here when Steve Rogers is about to give Jasper a piece of his mind, but has to back down because he knows it's not his decision to make. The bold villain might have thought he had it easy here, but that's when Captain America allows Black Widow to steal the limelight and get some due credit. Oh wait, what about that girl from accounting? Laura, Laura, please. Lillian. Lip piercing, right? Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. I mean, I'd move the world for Scarlett Johansson, but I guess I'm too much of a simp to have a valid opinion. Anyway, it was a nice touch to cap off the scene, and I'm a huge fan of these two BFFs, not just on screen, but also in real life. Man, I gotta say, Jasper was all about Hydra this and Hydra that, but he should have just focused on hydrating that shiny head of his. I want one. No. Who do you want me to be? How about a friend? The last time I was in Germany and saw a man standing above everybody else, we ended up disagreeing. There's something about dictators that just makes you want to squirm. I'm grateful Loki tilted over to the good side, but he did start off as a villain, although he wasn't a very good one. I mean, you can say what you want, but the god of mischief was much better off spilling some sass rather than doing the bidding of a certain Mr. Thanos. His elitist speech in the Avengers was definitely a highlight, but you want to know what was better? Captain America springing into action at the right time, that's what. A man out of time. I'm not the one who's out of time. It was nice to have Steve Rogers bringing up his past while dealing with Loki, and even though the encounter wasn't exactly favouring him, I mean, at least he put up a fight. I also want to shout out the moment he turns it around on Loki when he takes his kneeling desires a bit too far. Kneel. Not today. Like, come on, bro, that's what Daenerys is known for. Don't be lazy. Hey! That's enough. Put that hammer down. You want me to put the hammer down? Are we done here? You need men in these buildings. There are people inside and they're gonna be running right into the line of fire. Why the hell should I take orders from you? Those it's hard to prove your merit nowadays, especially with all of these TikTok freaks bringing a bad name to the youth. However, old is gold, and that's why Captain America never fails to command our respect. So here's another scene from the Avengers to prove my point. He comes up with an amazing plan of defense to combat the Chitauri army, but those cops ain't believing a random dude in blue spandex. I mean, that only works in the DC universe, right? I've always been a believer in walking the walk, and Steve Rogers does a lot more than walking here. He kicks some serious alien butt. That's all it takes for the cops to drop the hesitation and follow their new leader. Sure, it was meant to be funny, but the scene also does justice to Captain America because he actually follows through on what he says, unlike <clears throat> certain other authority figures. So what are we supposed to do? It's not like we can just knock on the front door. That's exactly what we're going to do. You do anything fun Saturday night? You know, if you ask Kristen out from statistics, she'd probably say yes. That's why I don't ask. Too shy or too scared? Too busy! You can call yourself as much of an alpha male as you want, but you'll never reach Steve Rogers' level of sass. Bro had Black Widow openly flirting with him in front of his soldiers, but still decided to get on top of the enemy. Well, all the guys from my barbershop quartet are dead, so... No, not really. 
and if that wasn't sassy enough, he also rejected a substitute date while he was at it. His reasoning behind the attitude totally gave me Sigma male vibes, wouldn't you agree? I mean, I'd love to see any of us guys pull off that kind of swag when a girl presents so many options. What about the nurse that lives across the hall from you? She seems kind of nice. Secure the engine room, then find me a date. Spoiler alert though, we can't. <laughs> right, yeah. Course. Also, let's not forget the fact that Steve literally jumped out of an airplane thousands of feet in the sky without any parachute. Is he wearing a parachute? No. No, he wasn't. The price of freedom is high. It always has been. And it's a price I'm willing to pay. And if I'm the only one, then so be it. But I'm willing to bet I'm not. I know I was just talking about how actions speak louder than words, but at the same time, words can make a serious impact when they're said the right way. Just take this moment from The Winter Soldier, where Cap has to plan his mission to stop Bucky and save him at the same time. I mean, if you ask me, I'd still say this was a huge risk he took, but then again, you can only win big if you play big. Am I right? This scene doesn't have any dramatic fights or witty one-liners, Excuse us. but it has a very determined Captain America giving us all a speech on how he's ready to pay the ultimate price for freedom. Did you write that down first? Was it off the top? The rest of the movie does give us some relief because the gamble pays off, but was it still worth the risk? I don't know man, I can't even pay the price for a happy meal, let alone my freedom. The price of fashion is high. <laughs> Maybe that's why the TV region doesn't have America's ass. You're my friend. You're my mission. And finish it, because I'm with you to the end of the line. Like, share and subscribe regardless of whether you like my booty or not. Who knows, I might even start an only TV if you know what I mean. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Ah yes, the famous elevator scene comes in at number 5. I've already told you how much of a meme this moment is, so I won't go on about why I love it in that regard. What I will say is that the level of confidence on display here is impeccable. Like, tell me honestly, could you openly challenge an entire gang of goons knowing fully well that you can take them on all by yourself? <laughs> We've seen Captain America as this nice guy with virtues and morals, but to see him seriously beating the daylights out of those Hydra agents was a treat to the eyes. I'm sure a lot of us, including myself, found the scene a bit messy. Messy at first. I just want you to know, Cap. It's in person! But on repeat viewings, I've come to enjoy and appreciate the effort that went into choreographing and directing it. <laughs> Man, they should really get the Russo brothers to come back for another project. It kind of feels personal. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? <laughs> Stay down. Final one. I could do this all day. Okay, so the scene I want to mention here is the epic battle with Iron Man in Civil War, but I still want to show my appreciation to this iconic line and all the times it's been used. You just don't know when to give up, do you? I'm gonna do this all day. It started off with Steve Rogers in his skinny era and ended with him fighting, well, himself. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. I might have my reservations on the outcome of the Civil War fight, but I'll give it to Steve for not giving up when Iron Man was dominating with ease. Also, I know the MCU was a marketing juggernaut all the way from Iron Man to Endgame. You can't beat him hand to hand. But I still feel there was a missed opportunity between Chris Evans and Nike. Like, come on bro, your character is literally known for saying, I can do this all day. Just imagine a crossover where Captain America says the line and then some random Nike athlete just pops up and says, be like Captain America and just do it. Man, I should get paid for these ideas. So no matter what, I promise you, if you need us, if you need me, I'll be there. Avengers!
I'm gonna be honest here, okay? I don't like the concept of teasing. I mean, sure, it's fun for a couple of minutes, but then you gotta give me the goods, man. I was kinda upset with Captain America because of this very issue. Bro kept teasing us with the whole Avengers Assemble line across the Infinity Saga, but I guess you could say I got my happy ending when he finally blurted it out in Endgame. All right, I just realized how weird that must have sounded, you know, but the logic still stands, okay? It was the moment most of us were waiting for, and to hear him say it with such swag was just rewarding. Also, I've got to confess, that dude's got a pretty good smolder. He could even compete with The Rock. Boss, wake up. Thanos has the biggest army in the universe. You know what kind of flex is super effective? It's the kind that doesn't need any words. Infinity War sprung up a lot of surprises on us, and one of them was the beautiful beard on Captain America. Notice you've copied my beard? When they say, get you a man that can do both, this is what they mean, not the Bernie Sanders version. Anyway, Steve Rogers suddenly appearing out of the shadows to spook out none other than Proxima Midnight was definitely a high impact scene. And if you were among the lucky ones to see the crowd reactions in the cinema halls, then you were truly blessed. The energy this scene generated was truly amazing and the build up to the big reveal was executed to perfection. I genuinely felt like I was watching a horror, suspense, thriller and action movie all at the same time. Can you stand? You got my name wrong. And you think all's forgiven? I'm not looking for forgiveness. And I'm way past asking permission. And if you want to stand in our way, we'll fight you too. For a man who's based his whole life on morals and ethics. Shit. Language. It was definitely something to see him break free from the shackles of his own beliefs. Captain America has always been for the people of the world. So it was quite refreshing to see him go rogue after the events of Civil War. Okay, that's enough. This scene actually comes after the previous entry in the movie as well, and it was good to see Steve standing his ground against Thunderbolt Ross. I got goosebumps when he said he wasn't going to ask for anyone's permission anymore, but then he went a step further by saying, Earth just lost your best defender, so we're here to fight. And if you want to stand in our way, we'll fight you too. Bro, what on earth were you doing in between these movies? Did you watch Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder and think, ah, if he can do that, then I can definitely act a little rebellious. Anyway, I totally rock with this vibe, which is why it's numero uno. And that's the end of my list. Click the links in the description for my Patreon and socials. Also, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Need some more? Why don't you check out some of these? Well, I couldn't leave my best girl. Not when she owes me a dance.